This piece is entitled The Definition of Beauty. When I was writing it, I thought about society and I thought about the way that people view beauty. And a lot of the times we conform to the ideologies of beauty on the basis of society. And quite frankly, I think that we're all beautiful. Beauty, can you define it for me? Give me a fixed specificity of what I should probe for when I seek beauty because clearly I'm not beautiful. A claim? They say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. But what if the beholder is a free train? What if in the eyes of the beholder you could never win? What if the beholder is society? You see, beauty is no longer defined as health, youth, and symmetry that one can admire, but now tall, slender figures, broomsticks, long ticks, lines, rods, crying stomachs, and aching hearts. They call me ugly. They call me fat. Big nose, screwed face, small breasts, no man attack. You're too fat or you're too thin. You're too black or you're too white. Put on some makeup, plastic surgery, breast implants, and you're fixed for life. And here, I ponder on the popular's opinions and the titles they give me. But wait, let's double check a dictionary. A combination of qualities such as shape, color, size, pleasing to the eye, society's prize, and they give a fake approbation when you look pretty. Society gives no clemency on your behalf. Impervious to the fact that God said you're way more than what you perceive yourself to be than what you think you are. Sad. As girls block out the voice of God, instead of aspiring to be like Esther or Mary, they mimic those in the magazines, fantasizing to be something they could never be, something like Tinkerbell Unicorn's fairies. Just ask the fashion industry. Be amazed at what you see. Cropped, adjusted, constructed to suit, perfection the eyes of the photoshopper, printed for you, for you to do what? Desire to be something you're not? It only brings back memories. Sad times you don't want to relive, like 14 when they saw your belly. Fat. What about when society laugh because they call you ugly? I mean, stuff like this, you brush it off. You be like, why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm human too? Dreams are brighter than ah. The music is all good and well, but it doesn't hide the stories girls don't want to tell, like vomiting after every meal, food like water gun, spray, spray, bottle, anorexic, life, tin like steak, bamboo, stick, cocaine, broom, one on top of the other, boom, boom, crack, crack. Is this what a girl gotta do to be like that? I mean, guys feel it too when they don't get through. No GT bant and get through boys, snapbacks and tattoos don't work at all. You see, societies are too stop mentality of the definition of beauty. The contradiction level is too high. They say, be yourself, be who you are. But then why does it feel as if they get jones off of us every time? What about loving all your curves and all your edges, all your perfect imperfections? Oh girl, you're amazing just the way you are. You know what? Haters gonna hate, but I say this to you. Be who you are. You're not the price tag, the makeup, bag, the surgeries, or the critics. You're not the jokes they make on the pin and zip phone. Yes, sticks and stones break bones, but never let people's words shake you. You need to live without a daughter. You were knitted in the womb. He knows you by name, precious in his sight, beyond all fame. Not even the richest man could pay. He becomes impoverished when he hears your name. You are a child of the living God. Made in his own image and likeness. God is beautiful and so too are you. We are all princes and princesses alike. Royalty, so it's true. The definition of beauty is you.